Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're back doing a Wick and Wanderers career mode video. So, I gave you guys, I told you guys my short list of players who I wanted to sign. Uh, I gave you guys the rules of who I'm, who I'm going to be signing and everything. So, we're going to go straight into signing two players. Uh, so first off we're looking at a centre back and then it will be a left back. First player we're going in for is Benjamin Cabango from Swansea. I'm going to try 300,000. It's less than his value. There we go. Getting him for 300,000. Now we have to agree on wages. He only wants to be a sporadic first team player. That's great. Five years will do. And £1,500 per week. There we go, we're getting Benjamin Cabango from Swansea. Next up, left back. Um, I think I'm going to go for Harvey White. 250,000 we're going to offer. They only want 1% sell on clause as well, I'll, I will take that. He wants sporadic first team. Five years as well. And... We will accept that. And for his wages, we will offer £450 a week. There we go. So, we have our two signings. I will get back to you guys at the end of the episode on uh, what, uh, what we're going to be looking at for next episode. 17-year-old and a 19-year-old. So that's two of the three under 21 players. Meanwhile, press conference. Thanks, guys. Wickham's European Continental the Shield early exit wasn't quite the debut fans were hoping for. How does this impact the squad ahead of the yeah first com competitive match? I have faith in my team. Is promotion more than a dream for Wickham? We have what it takes. We are lucky to have this collection of players at the football club. We all feel we have what it takes to get the club to the next level. There we go. Why do you stick with McCarthy in your starting team, even if his performance is a trend? I mean, I think I simulated most of it, so... He must play to regain sharpness. There we go. Now we play Bolton. Now then. Uh, gameplay might still be a bit, you know, hit and miss. They, are, they made another update, and then it kind of mucked up the gameplay again, so... Sorry, I am trying to... I, I think I've just about found... Uh, sliders that work. First game of the season, we're at home to Bolton. <sighs> Let's hope we can get the win here. So this is the team we're going with for this one, with Allsop in goal, McCarthy, Stewart, Charles, Jacobson at the back, Offerbor, Thompson, Bloomfield in midfield, Smith, Akinfenwa and Odid, Od, Onyedim, uh, Fred Onyedim uh, on the left wing. With, uh, obviously, we're going to give a start to Adebayo Akinfenwa. And the Bolton lineup: Remy Matthews in goal, Emmanuel Hobbs in Tiala, and Bunny at the back with Low. Do oh, it looks like they're going 4 1 4 1. Low holding midfield, Dudu, Crawford, Murphy, and Buckley, and then Murphy up front. So they've got Luke Murphy and Daryl Murphy. Right. Crawford tackled there by Charles. Matt Bloomfield picks the ball up. Akin Fenwer finds Curtis Thompson. Great save by Remy Matthews. And Bolton will get the ball away. But Matt Bloomfield picks the ball up. Paul Smith goes for goal, but Mutiala gets in the way. Right, Daryl Murphy plays the ball out to Dudu. Dudu, Dodu, I don't know how you pronounce his name. He's going to cut inside now. Shoots, and it's great save by Ryan Alsop. And it's a corner. Right, Luke Murphy finds Jason Lowe, puts the ball in. Jacobson heads the ball across goal. Off the ball gets in the way of Bunny's shot. Curtis Thompson finds Matt Bloomfield, goes searching for Onya Dinma. He cuts inside. He's going to go towards the byline for crossing it in. Wins a corner off uh, Jack Hobbs. Joe Jacobson with the corner in. And Remy Matthews punches more up than away, and it's headed away by, I think, Stewart. Right, Matt Bloomfield finds Curtis Thompson. Akinfem was offside. Oh, not being the best of starts. 
Right, Joe Doddy. I think I don't have a clue how you pronounce his name. Right, Ali Crawford just about coming away with the ball there. Daryl Murphy plays the ball across and it's Joe Doddy makes the score 1-0 to Bolton on the stroke of half time. Not the end to the first half that we wanted. And there we go. So half time 1-0. Um, yeah, one of them first halves where it's been a bit frustrating. Forced the keeper into a couple of saves, but wasn't able to find the back of the net. Right, here's Joe Bunny to Ali Crawford. Joe Dodu. Murphy straight at Ryan Allsop. Here we go, Curtis Thompson plays the ball out wide to Paul Smith. He finds Zach and Fenway, past his man, that's surely a free kick. It is. And we're gonna go... Are we gonna go for it? Yeah, why not? Joe Jacobson on the free kick. Oh, got that off. Ooh, good, uh, good free kick, but saved by Remy Matthews. Dodu gets the cross in. Ryan Allsop punches, and that's gonna be a corner to Bolton. I will be making some changes, it will be Alex Samuel to come on. Uh, last episode I kept saying it was Dominic Samuel, but he plays for Reading, so it couldn't have been him. Uh, and we're going to bring Dominic Gape on. And is that going to be it? Let's try David Wheeler, we'll, we'll bring David Wheeler on for Paul, uh, Paul Smith as well. And it's saved by Ryan Allsop, I'm not sure who it was we got on the end of that one. Jason Lowe now. Past his man, Daryl Murphy tackled by Damien Stewart there. Oh, but Daryl Murphy gets the tackle back. Apparently Damien Stewart didn't want to clear that. And it's Will Buckley, he... I thought the referee was going to give a penalty there. And it's going to be full time here because Bolton's just passing the ball around and there we go. So, full time 1-0 to Bolton. Not the start that we wanted, but it's the start we get. Not uh, Bolton kind of dominated possession, so we can't really complain about that one too much. But I thought we did all right. We played some okay football at times. Uh, I probably need to turn my pass error down or turn those up a little bit. Are you disappointed that you failed to start your debut campaign at Wickham with a positive result? Um, season is a marathon, not a sprint. There we go. It may not have been the result we wanted or what the fans wanted, but the season is a marathon, not a sprint. We will continue to train hard and try our best to improve. How valuable is McCarthy's improved form? Uh, praise his resilience. You can't help but praise the resilience he has shown today. I'm sure we will be back to our winning ways if he's on track to regain his match fitness. A difficult game today. The players seem to be lacking in confidence. No, we weren't. Uh, our confidence is solid. Not by any means. Obviously, the performance was disappointing, but we've got a good bunch of lads always supportive of each other and we'll come back from this. I mean, it's one game into the season. Let's not, you know, be too hasty with anything. And we have a transfer offer for uh, Darius Charles, which we will be happily rejecting. Uh, we kind of need, for this season at least, we need our centre-backs to be on form. Well, to be at the club even. First away match of the season, we're away to Bristol Rovers. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how good they are on this game, but you'd expect us to be able to beat them. So here's the Bristol Rovers team. They've got Jamal Blackman in goal. Back four of Little, Kilgore, Craig and Davis. I'm assuming that they've gone with the back four. No, back five. You can th uh, throw Lee on that one. And then they've gone Serkin Clark and Agogo. And Johnson Clark Harris. And I think it's Callum Riley up front. Meanwhile, the Wickham team for this game is as the same team that finished the Bolton match. Also up in goal, McCarthy, Stewart, Charles and Jacobson on the back four. Midfield three of Gape, Thompson and Bloomfield. And in front three of Wheeler, Samuel and Onya Dinma. Bristol Rovers look like they're going to actually attack us straight from the off here. Johnson Clark Harris has managed to find space. Keeper comes out, collects that one. Straight away they're in. We've had the early warning. Let's see if we can stop them uh, this time. Right, Riley, nope, okay. A go-go with the shot. We've not learned our lesson from the opening two minutes and that's the result. 
Little heads wide. Mark Little. I cannot cope up against this 5-3-2 formation. Little gets the cross in. Uh, I don't know if that came off of McCarthy or Clark Karras. Right. We need to start creating here. Right. Matt Bloomfield. Nope. That was offside. But Alex Samuel's got it. He's not offside. Great save from the keeper. Matt Bloomfield wins the ball now. Curtis Thompson will look for Alex Samuel. He finds him. First touch, probably not what I wanted, but he's managed to create some space here. And he goes for goal. Nope, he got shut down. Dominic Gape goes for goal. And we now have a chance on the counter here. Wheeler finds Samuel. And Alex Samuel through again. Goes for goal, wide. It's not happening today. Oh boy. So, half time, nil nil. That's now three halves of football where we haven't managed to score. Whether we've had Akin Ferrer on the pitch or Alex Samuel. Um, I don't even know how to how to go about fixing that, to be honest. Right, Liam Circum oh, well, apparently that was a foul. Oh, Riley. Oh, I don't know what's going on. There we go. We managed to get the ball away somewhat, but then little will. Jacobson with the interception there again. Curtis Thompson now to Dominic Gape. Back to Curtis Thompson. Finds Alex Samuel. That's surely going to... I will have my free kick now. Thank you very much. Not even an advantage was given on that one. Well, that's handball. So, how come he's booked him but he didn't give an advantage? I, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, here's Daly. Finding Johnson Clark Harris. Right, Liam Sercombe goes for goal. And it's wide. Right, let's make some changes. So, we are going to... Let's try bringing Nick Freeman on for... Bloomfield. We're going to try making a slightly more attacking change. And we're going to bring on Alex Samuel. Uh, bring on Akin Femmer for Alex Samuel. Gate. I did try telling on Onyedimma to run there. He's managed to get it. And we're going to pull the ball back. Wheeler, there we go. First goal of the season. And it's David Wheeler who gets it. Not the person who I was expecting to get the first goal. But it's the one who gets it nonetheless. And we are 1-0 up away to Bristol Rovers. Okay, Curtis Thompson plays the ball out wide to Jason McCarthy. Wheeler's through now. Chip tries, well he goes for the chip, but that was terrible. Why has Craig gone all the way forward? They've literally just thrown their centre back forward. I suppose that's what happens when they get desperate. They've got a chance to get the cross in now though. McCarthy gets enough on that one and it goes straight through to Ryan Allsop. And we will win the match. Full time in that one. So far we've lost one match 1-0. And we've won 1-1-0, one, one, so pretty even so far. Uh, next up, I think we have the cup match. And there we go. That, that was a lot more of an even game. And Wheeler uh, getting the difference on that one. Some questions regarding you managed to win a close match with a decisive goal in the second half. What do you think made the difference in today's game? We were the better team. I mean, we weren't, but we'll go with that. We managed to turn the tide and find the decisive goal, given there wasn't much split between the two sides leading up. Did you have any doubts you'd come away with a win? Uh, I trusted we'd give it our all. There we go. Regardless of the outcome, I always trusted my players to give it their all and fight to the end. They did exactly that out there today. Kilgore was one of the best players of the opposition. How difficult was it to find a way past them? Uh, we just played our game. There we go, that one will... I mean, that's essentially right. We're in the first round of the Carabao Cup. We're at home to Northampton. I think it's kind of a local derby, this one. Uh, probably probably a bit of distance between them. So the team for this one, we've gone with Stockdale in goal. He's going to be our captain. Grimmer, Cabango, Jumbati and White are our uh, back four. So debuts for Cabango and White. Offerbor, Patterson and Freeman in midfield, and then Parker, Samuel, Smith up front. Northampton team, Arnold, Adams, Warburton, Turnbull, Good, uh, and then 
with Arnold in goal. The others are in defence along with Martin, Olienka, Lines, uh, midfield two, and then Anderson is in behind Vidane Oliver and Williams. Anderson, Martin now up against Grimmer. Plays it up towards the back post. Williams heads it against the bar and Oliver heads in from about two, well, from about about three or four yards out. It's one of them goals where there really wasn't much I could do about that one as soon as the ball comes in. Oh no, in fact it was like literally two yards out. Or maybe even a yard. But Dane Oliver scores 1-0 to Northampton. Right. John Barty does well there. Cabango gives the ball away. And it's going to be 2-0. Nope, great save by Stockdale. But it will be 2-0 anyway. Andy Williams with an open goal. Right, Grimmer, let's at least get one back here. Let's make it... Oh, no. Terrible pass by Akinpenwe. And it's going to be full time at 2-0. Dominic Gape. Nope. Well, it's full time at 2-0. Uh, I suppose that's what happens when you change your side round completely on this one. We just lost to a side... And the thing is, we actually played better in this one than we did in the last match. And yet we won the last match, but lost 2-0 in this one. But that's what happens. You saw the goals. The first one was lucky as hell. Um, but it is what it is. For a few questions. Your side was thrashed today by Northampton Town. Any impressions? If you look at the stats, actually, we weren't thrashed. Uh, I hope my boys are listening to this. Questions like that only motivates us to do better next time. I hope my boys are listening to this interview. Welcome Wanderers did not manage to score today and ended up losing the game. What went wrong? Uh, we rotated our side completely. We couldn't play our usual game. Northampton Town knew how to maintain their advantage once they scored that last goal. We had very little success in playing our usual game, so all credit to, goes to them for that. Oliver was one of the best players in the opposition today. Is your inability to stop him the reason behind your failure to gain a positive result against Northampton? He's a really good player. We'll go with that one. Thanks. It's a local derby now, MK Dons, uh, away, no, at home, I think, I don't actually know, but it's, it's MK Dons, yeah, it's at MK Dons at home, local derby, so the team we're going with for this one, we've got Ryan Allsop back in goal, we're going Jason McCarthy, Anthony Stewart, Darius Charles and Joe Jacobson, makes up the back four, Dominic Gape holding with Curtis Thompson and Matt Bloomfield in front of the, uh, in front of him, David Wheeler, Akin Pemwert and Fred Onyedinma are our front three. MK Dons line up with Lee Nichols in goal. Got back four of Callum Britton, Bailey Cargill, Jordan Moore Taylor and Dean Lewington. Hewton Thompson... Hewton is holding midfield. Thompson and Gilby in central midfield with Reeves in attacking mid... Uh, in behind Agard and Morris. Looks to me like I'm going to get a lot of space out wide. So I will be exploiting that. Right, McCarthy straight away finds Wheeler. We're in behind basically here. Wheeler finds Thompson. He shoots at Nichols. I mean, he could have gone down and got a penalty there, but well held by uh, Lee Nichols there. Right, Lewington, Morris. He's yeah. That was that was good, always going to end up as a goal. Ryan Allsop makes the save. But the defence was all over the place, as it always seems to be with me. Right, McCarthy goes long, looking for Wheeler. Can only find Lewington, but Wheeler snatches it off of him. Wheeler pulls it back for Akinfenwa. Great save by the keeper. Or was that Cargill who actually got on the end of it? Right. Akinfenwa through here. That's surely got to be a free kick, and it is. And... Who's it going to be to take? It's going to be Joe Jacobson. And we're going top corner. Oh, off the post. He's getting closer and closer with this free kick. Oh no, Ben Reeves. He's through. Great save by uh, Ryan Allsop there. Right, His Morris is going to get the cross in. And I don't know who that was, it was Reeves I think, but Darius Charles gets the block in. I confirm where finds Curtis Thompson. He finds Akinfenwa again. Fred Onyedinma here. Goes for goal, saved by Nichols. 
Lewington players. Right, Louis Thompson takes on his man. Of course, it's actually a former Norwich player. Oh, not former Norwich player, on loan from Norwich. Jason McCarthy manages to do enough on that one. We're going to start a counter attack here with Gate. Matt Bloomfield can't do anything. He loses the ball. Louis Thompson finds Ben Reeves. And it's going to be half time. So, yeah, we're, we're not having any luck with this one so far. Right, Kieran Agard finds Alex Gilby. The referee will pull the ball back there, even though they got the advantage. And go to the goal, Ryan Allsop with. Uh, should have been an easier save than that. Houghton. Ryan Allsop. There we go, he actually held on to it this time. Thompson. Our Thompson finds David Wheeler. He's going to pull the ball back here. Akin Fenwa goes for goal and scores. And it's Wickham 1, MK Dons 1, and the big man added by Akin Fenwa, the strongest player in the game. Gets his first goal of the season. And we have that's only our second goal of second goal of the season. Uh, I, I realized I had it set to long ball for the first few games. So we were really struggling with that because my players were playing long trying to play for long ball, but I was trying to play for fast build-up. Hopefully now we can actually start getting goals. A good counter-attack there on that one. 1-1. One, one. Dean Lewington will get the cross in. Darius Charles gets a touch. He gets the block in with the second one. We do get the ball clear, but it's going to come straight back. But they give the ball to uh, Matt Bloomfield. Thompson finds Akin Fenwe and Onya Dinmas through here. It's surely got to be 2-1. Yes, it is. And we've turned it around from 1-0 behind at half time. We're now 2-1 up. Two very good counter-attacks, very quick. And Onyedinma now has his first goal of the season as well. It's a bit of a relief. I was starting to think after the first three games, I was starting to think I needed to uh, adjust the sliders a little bit more. But no, I don't. I was just having three not-so-good games. But Onyedinma is on the score sheet. Here we go, Gape. Uh, Jacobson finds Onya Dinma. He's through again. But he's going to square it. Akin Fenwa makes it three. And that's why we do love a good counter attack. Uh, that's three counter attacks, uh, three goals, and we still have had less possession than MK Dons. But when you've got Akin Fenwa up front, you can win games. It helps that this one was an absolute tap-in. I mean, it would have been funny if he missed that one, but he, did, he didn't. <laughs> I can confirm he just doesn't miss them, and we now find ourselves 3-1 up in a local derby as well. We now are going to make a couple of changes. So, first off, on comes Smith for Wheeler, and then on comes Freeman for Bloomfield. And, yeah, let's... Look, let's look for a fourth. Curtis Thompson finds. Uh, oh, that's a horrible challenge. Is that going to be a red card? That has to be. He's gone straight through the back of him. It's a yellow card. Personally, I would have given that as a red, but there may be a bit of bias involved in that. Right, should we go for goal from here? No, let's not. Right. Thompson! Oh. It was going top corner as well. Oh, surely that's a free kick. There we go. It's another free kick. Right, we're going for another Joe Jacobson special. Or we're going for a Joe Jacobson special. Here we go. Oh, I didn't quite time that right, but the keeper made, made, made a good save there. Uh, even if I did time it right, I still think that he would have made the save, but... Keeper wasn't to know it was going wide, so we will we'll let him off with that one. Joe Jacobson's corner in. Oh, headed away by Lewington. Thompson, no. Right, Moore Taylor under pressure here. Is Gape gonna win it? 
Oh. Right, Nichols clears the ball. Onya Dimmer finds Jacobson here. Ah, oh, we nearly had another chance to get Akinfemura's hat trick. But 3 1 win. I was about to say 4 1. 3 1 win. Two goals for uh, Akinfemura and one for Onya Dinmer. And we're on track. Actually, we played very well in that one. 10 shots. We had less possession again, but it happens. 10 shots, 7 on target to their six shots. So we had more shots on target than they had shots altogether. Okay, here we go. Why didn't we get to see Samuel play today? Uh, competition is good. We've seen great performance from other players today and this can only please me. Competition is good and I want to give, uh, have all players fighting. Yep. Two goals to secure a win. I confirm was the hero today. Any thoughts? Uh... An impressive performance from Akin Fenwick. Very impressed with the way Akin Fenwick played today. It was a world class performance. Special win to beat Milton Kinsons. How do you comment? Um, no surprises here. It's becoming a theme of our rivalry. We're clearly the better team and we proved it today. Damn. I have to say, I quite like MK Dons just because uh, their manager is Russell Martin. So, I, yeah, I, I like them. I want them to, to do well. But, in this career mode, I hate them. Uh, we have had an offer from Shanghai for Darius Charles. I'm pretty sure Ch China is loaded with money, and yet they're coming in for a League One player. Totally makes sense. Uh, we're going to reject it. Three League games in, we're currently sat in sixth place, so not bad. I will show you guys who I'm thinking of signing for the next episode. So, wait, first off, how much money do we have? We have 1.29 million pounds in the budget. Some of these players that I have on here are not going to be getting signed this window or this this summer. Um, some of them will be for other windows, like for example Troy Parrott. Uh, he's only just joined Tottenham. I could sign him on loan, uh, and I think he would suit our style. Players like Liam Miller. I'm not going to be able to sign him. I'm not going to be able to afford him this summer. Uh, on top of being able to sign someone in January. So there's King Lewis Potter. 18 years old. Uh, I might be able to get him for about 200,000. Balogun had me. I'm not going to be joining this summer. Because they've only just joined. I've got Danny Loder. I was thinking of signing him. But I haven't looked at that. His, he might come to a bit much. But he would be a good player to have. But then I've also got Gelhart. Might I'm I could probably sign Gelhart. And the good thing about Gelhart as well, he can play left wing or, and right wing. So that could be a good one. I've also looked at uh, George Hurst, but he has only just joined Leicester apparently. Uh, there's I don't know how you pronounce his first name, but Verlinden. He could be a good one. Or Aaron Rowe, who's only just joined. Uh, there's Max Bird. Again, probably going to cost too much. Yeah, so Sam Sam Surridge uh, is going to cost way too much. Troy Parrott. I mean, Troy Parrott would probably cost too much anyway. So, there's out, out of them players, I'm thinking... I'm thinking Keen Lewis Potter. Or... Verlinden. I might go for Max Bird next season, when I've got a bit of a bigger transfer budget. But I'm thinking, because I've mostly been looking at a striker or a winger. There's also uh, Will Ferry. I might look. I might look to sign. He's only 19 years old, so he will. He will improve. If not, I might just wait, and then for a left winger or for just winger in general, I might sign as a pre-contract for next season because. No, actually, it looks like we do need, we definitely need a, a, another left winger. So, actually, yeah, I will probably, we need a backup left winger. So, I will probably sign Will Ferry, and if not, I will sign Gelhart, and then Gelhart can then be my backup left winger, as well as maybe a backup striker, depending on if he fits the role. Yeah, so, I'm going to leave the episode there. Thank you very much for watching, this is going to be a busy week for me because I've got to record three videos then I've got to go to London for VidCon I've got to record loads of videos at VidCon 
I'm going to look to get at least two or three done while I'm there. And then I've got to then come back and then record more for next week. So, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And in the meantime, until the next video, I will see you then.